Next part of our process, right? Temps, they matter. Uh, turns out they matter. So another awesome example here of the value of beginning with the end in mind. And I don't have to tell you know, any of you that the more you and I prepare for attempts on the front end, the less chair time they take. You guys know that. So some of you will do that with wax us. Some of you are gonna do it with scans. Some of you are, um, are mocking teeth up. Whatever you do, it's, it's, if it's working for you, awesome. Remember, it's about systems. It's about simplicity. It all works. So long as your process is presently working for you, stay with it. If it isn't, then please um, follow up with me afterwards and we'll talk more about it. But the key, the key, whenever it's humanly possible, is keep your system simple. So I switch gears for a couple reasons. Example, big cases. This is a Luxacrown case. It's different than when I use Luxatemp. Why? Because on this patient, I needed to buy time. It's 10 teeth. They didn't have the finances for us to complete this upper arch at one time, right? They, they, they couldn't afford all the dentistry at once. And what I didn't want to do is compromise the big picture result. So what I chose to do is we waxed it up, silicone matrix, nothing remarkable about that, that system, but we chose Luxa Crown for one reason. It buys us time. It's approved for five years in my patient's mouth. So think about what I'm able to do on this big case with the patient. We can treat eight and nine, we can treat seven through 10, we could treat six through 11. But in this case, I'll tell you, we did seven through 10. We took those to completion. We left the right side posterior, the left side posterior, which buys me, I can come back next year and do one side, the following year, do the other side. I've got five years to use those in my patient's mouth. So think about what makes the most sense when you're restoring a case. Everyday cases. This one also looks a crown. So same big reason, you know, different scenario, but same big reason. This patient needed endo. They needed a, they needed a core buildup. They didn't have the money to do, this is during COVID, right? Out of a job. Um, kids at home, craziness going on, they needed to buy the time. I didn't want them to extract the tooth. So instead of extracting the tooth, we used Luxacrown. Now, you know what? They paid for their endo at the endodontist. Um, I don't do that. Uh, they paid for the buildup. So Lux to core, everything's pristine, preps done, Luxacrown. They can come back anytime in the next five years and be good to go. Yes, I know some of you are thinking, do you charge for that? I do but we charge about 10% of what we charge for a definitive restoration. And then when they come back two years, three years, four years, five years for the definitive restoration, then yes, they get charged for the crown. And no, we do not build this temporary to dental insurance. I know some of you are thinking that too.